Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we are going to solve this missing view where front view and top view is given and we have to draw side view and we will draw sectional view also in this. So first we will draw 45 degree. Let me draw it from far because those dimensions will come in between. So first we will draw 45 degree. We can leave any distance. After that you project from top view, forward and height you can take it from front view. See this, we got width. So we got box for side view. Now we'll start step by step. Now see if you here, if you see line, line, what do you mean by line, line? Rectangle. So you project that. So we are projecting one by one. So you project this line. This is 10, 60, 10. And I'm projecting height from front view. So I'll get a rectangle, see this. And if you see the remaining two rectangles will be also dark. Those are the slope one. See this. This is this and this slope and this this. Inclined line rectangle rectangle. So it will come automatically which you can make it dark. Now we'll draw circle. See this. It's a rectangle. Circle in one view, other two views will be rectangle. So I will take midpoint and it is diameter 13. So I can take 15, 15 on both the sides. I'm drawing center line. Height I can take it from front view and width I can take it from top view. see this then you'll draw circle which is inside diameter 20 so from center you take 10 10 on both the sides and you draw dotted line so circle in one view other two views will be same now this slope rectangle incline in one view other two views will be same so with that concept here also we'll have rectangle Now after that, if you see, see this line, the part which is behind, that will be dotted. So this we need to extend. This is called intersection of rib. It will go down till the bottom plate. Then this line, 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 rectangle. Then I'm projecting this circles. It's given 15, 15 from both the sides and diameter 10. See this, these two circles. So you can draw it with circle with rounder. So after drawing this circle, we are done with side view. Now if you see, we have to draw sectional front view, top view, sectional top view and sectional side view. 
axis line we can draw. Okay, now see this sectional front view along AA. So what will get cut? See this. If you see AA, then this dotted will go away. This dotted will become dark and this line will go away. See this. When you cut here, this will get cut. This will be dark. This is getting, so this will be hatched. This will be dark. This dotted will become dark. There won't be any hatching in the rib, the inclined portion, there won't be any hatching as well as the inside the circle part. So we are done with sectional front view. This will be dark. Now we'll draw sectional top view. See this. It is getting cut from here. So you project this. This will become dark. Now remember one thing. When you cut rib parallel, we don't hatch. Like in front view, we don't hatch, but in top view, we need to hatch because we are cutting perpendicular. See this, when you cut from here, these dotted lines will become dark. Those circular dotted lines, this will become dark because now you can see this from top view. See this. So this much will be hatched in top view when you are drawing sectional top view. This is sectional top view. Now if you see in side view there are two cutting planes. Sectional cut along DD. Right? So that we will do first. So it is cutting that circular portion that then, then those dotted line will become dark and the behind dotted line will go away. See this. So this also will go away because if you extend that cutting plane line in top view Now we draw section in bottom plate as well as in that circle. The rest of the sum will be as it is. We need to 
erase dotted line we don't keep dotted line see this it is cutting this this portion is not getting hatched so that's why there is no hatching in between so remember in sectional view we do not draw dotted line because it is confusing so that's why we don't draw so avoid drawing dotted line in sectional view especially section orthographic in section of solids you can draw so we are done with sectional side view along dd now if you see sectional side view along cc is also given so i can't draw it in the same diagram so i need to draw it again so what i will do i will draw side view again generally in exam they will ask you only one side view they won't ask you two two side views but since there are two possibilities so i'm covering both in this case sectional side view along dd this is aa this is vb now we are doing sectional side view along cc so you will come to know where it is cutting the rib from front view see this let's say this distance is 35 it's here so from there we need to project So I'm drawing side view. Don't draw dotted line. And in section, even if you want to draw dotted line, just draw light, because later on you might have to erase it or you have to darken it. Now in this case, it is cutting from here. this will be dark this entire portion is getting cut so this will be hatched this t portion the rest will be as it is see this So the section will come in this. so we are done with section sectional side view along cc thank you